one does not simply walk into Mordor. The Land of Shadow. Hey, welcome everyone. In today's Shadowcast, I'll be discussing the rumor that Shelob the giant spider monster in Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, will be making an appearance in Season 2 of Amazon's streaming series The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. Shelob, one of our favorite dark creatures of Mordor, is rumored to have a small role as her younger self in the upcoming second season. So let's climb the endless stair and creep into the shadow of Torich Ungol, the lair of Shelob the Great. There is a scintillating rumor coming from the folks at Fellowship of Fans who state that Shelob will appear in the Rings of Power Season 2. They are quoted as saying, Exclusive, Young Shelob is a character featured in The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, Season 2, with a small role. Now, as with all rumors, we need to take this with a grain of salt until we hear or see some validation of this report. Earlier in the year, we heard a similar rumor about the appearance of Tom Bombadil in Season 2. But as of yet, no news from Amazon confirms this. However, since this rumor about Shelob has arisen, we might as well discuss what these words may mean. Let's begin with a breakdown of the actual quoted rumor. We should begin with the words, Young Shelob. What does that mean exactly? Younger, smaller, a juvenile spider, perhaps not yet so wicked. I'm hoping the meaning of this is a younger Shelob versus as a smaller or childlike Shelob. We don't know Shelob's date of birth for certain, but we know enough to approximate her age to be at least a thousand to fifteen hundred years old by the time the series takes place. She would be a cunning and powerful creature by the early years of the second millennium of the second age. We know this because Tolkien clearly stated that Shelob was a child of Ungoliant, and she was a vast spirit of malignant evil who would eventually rival Morgoth in power and become his enemy. We will save the full tale of the monstrous Ungoliant for a future lore video. But we know for certain that she begat Shelob sometime in the early years of the First Age before the first rising of the sun, after which she fled into the Forgotten South and out of the tales of Middle-earth. This would have made Shelob at least 1,200 to 1,500 years old by the second millennium of the Second Age. During the War of the Ring, at the close of the Third Age, when she encountered Frodo and Sam on the pass of Kirith Ungol, she would have been somewhere between six and 7,000 years old. I'm hoping that the showrunners, Patrick McKay, and J.D. Payne don't conceive of her as a juvenile spider, but rather the fearsome beast she would have been at that time. Younger, perhaps, but no less powerful. I don't think a baby Shelob would have the same impact as, say, a baby Yoda. Returning to the rumored quote, Another important item states that she will be featured in a small role, which probably means a brief cameo in the series. However, that could play out as a central role in just a single episode, which would be a great way to introduce her into the series. So, 
How might she come into the story? Let's take a look at what we know of Shelob in the Second Age, which is not much. Tolkien wrote this in The Two Towers. How Shelob came there, flying from ruin no tale tells. For out of the dark years few tales have come. But still she was there, who was there before Sauron and before the first stone of Baradur. So, it's probable that she found the tunnels under the Ethel Duith, which would one day be called Torich Ungol, meaning Tunnel of the Spider, in the first years of the Second Age. Feeding on elves, men, orcs, and any other creature foolish enough to become ensnared in her black webs the rumor of a deadly evil under the mountain crossing instilled fear in any who traveled into Mordor. We also know that her evil offspring spread throughout the mountains of shadow and as far north as Mirkwood. Sauron knew she lurked in the mountains of shadow below Sirith Ungol, and though she would now and again feast upon his orcs, he did not mind. She was a greater defense of that dark past than any other he could devise. He called her his cat, though she owned him not. He would send her prisoners that he had no more use for and have them driven into her lair. Her hunger and her wickedness pleased him greatly. We know that at some point, Sauron would have discovered or perhaps even encountered Shelob in the first years of his reign over Mordor. I'm hoping this might be the cameo, where Sauron and Shelob meet face to face. This could make for a wonderful scene. At the end of Season 1, we see Halbrand Sauron entering Mordor which is now wreathed in shadow from the fires and smokes of Mount Doom. Maybe this is when he finds Shelob in the mountains. Another possible scenario is that the elves will send spies into Mordor to see what Sauron is up to. Possibly even Galadriel herself will make the journey. An encounter with Shelob would make for a great battle scene. Or perhaps men from Numenor will be sent to spy on Sauron, and they will cross over the mountains of Shadow. We also know that Isildur was left injured or unconscious somewhere in Mordor. Perhaps he will try to cross over the mountain pass to escape and may encounter her ladyship. We know he will survive, but imagine him fleeing from orcs, tracking him over the mountains, and he decides to hide in a tunnel, a dark tunnel with a hungry inhabitant. Another scenario might involve the stranger, whose purpose may be to discover and confront Sauron, with his ragtag halfling riding on his coattails. If he seeks out Mordor, he may cross the mountain pass, Imagine poor Eleanor Brandyfoot lost in the tunnels of Torich Ungol, finding herself tangled in Shelob's web. Finally, we have the Goths, who worship Melkor. I have a feeling we will see more of them in Season 2 and an expansion on our knowledge of Melkorism. They may continue their search for Sauron and in so doing enter Mordor maybe finding themselves on the wrong side of another evil creature, Shelob the Great. It's important to remember that at this time there is no Numenor in exile, no Asgiliath, Minas Tirith, or Minas Ithil slash Morgul, no Kirith Ungol, Moranin, or Black Gate. Even the tower of Badr-dûr has yet to be built. Mordor, at this time, is an empty land waiting to be made into Sauron's vast stronghold in Middle-earth. 
Whoever may enter to cross the mountains of shadow will do so in its raw, untamed form. This rumor is interesting and is one I hope to see unfold in Season 2 of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. I think it's a smart move to incorporate as many established Tolkien locations and characters as possible when appropriate. They will help move the story forward and hopefully stay within the boundaries of Tolkien canon. Well guys, I think that wraps up today's Shadowcast. As we learn more about the rumored appearance of Shelob in Season 2 of The Rings of Power, we will be reporting it right here in Mordor. In upcoming lore videos, we will be focusing on both Ungoliant and Shelob. Until that time, make sure to check out the links below to our Brazen Beast pages and to the great spiders of Middle-earth. So, until next time, I hope to find you within the dark tunnel of Torich Ungol and avoiding the black webs of Shelob the Great.